So we have this reference card that we need to complete and the idea is that we will then post this reference card onto a 5x8 card and it'll be something we can keep with us. So let's take a look at how to fill this out. Uh, starting in the upper left corner it says start reading down and then read across meaning one of this equals so many of this. In other words, one BTU equals one BTU. Well, that makes sense. One calorie equals one calorie. Well, what about the relationship between kilocalories and calories? Let's see if we can fill in this box here. One kilocalorie equals a thousand calories, right? There are a thousand calories in one kilocalorie. We could then do the same thing be, uh, with the relationship between calories and kilocalories. Well, if there are a thousand calories in one kilocalorie, then there are probably 0 0.001 kilocalories in one calorie. In other words, one calorie equals 0 0.001 kilocalories. Well, how did I come up with that number? So what I did was I said, one divided by the number that I already know, a thousand, and that gives me 0 0.001. Let's try it with another number. If I open the inside front cover of the textbook and on that uh, inside page it says energy unit conversion factors and we'll also use the miscellaneous factors uh, and in fact we'll even use the energy equivalent. So we're going to use a lot of the information that's inside the front cover. I see here the first line under energy unit conversion factors says one joule equals one joule. Well, golly, I hope that's what we have here. One joule equals one joule. Fantastic. But if I move over, I see that one joule equals 2.78 times 10 to the negative 7 kilowatt hours. So let me try and fill this box in. 2.78 times 10 the negative seven kilowatt hours. Well, let's see, if I have, I wanna know then what one kilowatt hour equals in joules. So let's see if we can't fill that box in. I'm gonna do the same thing, equals one divided by this very small number, 2.78. And in fact, the way Excel likes exponents is E, Neg seven. Holy bananas. Let's see, that's three million five hundred ninety-seven thousand one hundred twenty-two. So one kilowatt hour is equal to three million five hundred ninety-seven one hundred and twenty-two joules. We can do the same thing with BTUs. We have one joule, one joule equals 9.49 times 10 to the negative 4 BTUs. That's this first column here, 9.49 times 10 to the negative 4. Well, one BTU then equals how many joules? Let's see. One divide, oops, let's try that again, equals one divided by 9.49 e neg 4. I look in the book and I notice that this same table says 1 BTU equals 1,055 joules. That's pretty close to this. I'm going to go with what the book says just to be sure. But now I understand how they came up with that number. So they say that 1 BTU equals 1,055 joules. That's really close 
to this 1053.7 that I came up with and so my confidence is high that I understand how that can, how that process came about so what I'd like you to do is fill in the rest of this table and then upload it to the Dropbox